An optimist sees a glass of water as half full. A pessimist sees it as half empty. And a director of research for the Orange County Water District sees it as all in a day's work. On this show, we're always thirsty for knowledge. But today, I'm also regular thirsty, which is why I'm here to meet water wizard, Dr. Megan Plumley, director of research at the Orange County Water District here in Southern California. One of my earliest memories of science is when my parents got me a microscope, and I love to collect things and look at them in the microscope. It was really mind-blowing to see what the world around you really looks like when you look close, and that's really what got me interested in kind of all the stuff you can't see and how it works. As director of research, Megan leads a team of scientists and engineers bringing water to over 2.5 million people in more than 20 cities. SoCal has always needed water for everything from agriculture to manufacturing to those scenes where an actor cries in the rain. <laughs> Neighboring areas import water hundreds of miles through complicated aqueducts, but an extended drought and warming temperatures could dramatically cut that supply, and soon. But the Orange County Water District provides 85% of their community's drinking water from a naturally occurring groundwater basin, and it's only possible thanks to the cutting edge groundwater replenishment system. Here, treated wastewater, or used water as they call it, that previously was literally wasted and discharged into the ocean, is instead turned into clean, safe, drinkable water to refill the basin. This facility is the largest of its kind in the world. And today, Megan is gonna show me the three technologies that make it possible, starting with ultra filtration. So what is ultra filtration? These hollow fibers, and they're all bundled together. So the used water is on the outside. It goes through the membrane and up and out. That filters the water? Absolutely. So if there's little particles in the water, even as small as bacteria, they will stay on the outside of the membranes because they're too large to fit through the microscopic tiny, tiny holes in the membrane. A human hair, the width of that, this is like one one thousandth of that. Wow. For the pores. While ultrafiltration was impressive, they take it to the next level with reverse osmosis. So what exactly is reverse osmosis? Yeah, so reverse osmosis or RO is a purification process where we use very high pressures to push water through a membrane with microscopic pores. You just saw that ultrafiltration process. In this case, the pores are thousands of times even smaller than that. What is osmosis? In natural osmosis, or just osmosis, Water, through its own natural driving force, travel across the membrane towards salty water. It wants to dilute that water. But in this process, we're actually making the water move the opposite way. It's going across the membrane towards the clean, purified water side. At this point, it's nearly drinkable water. The ultrafiltration was removing larger particles like dust, dirt, and bacteria. That's right. Whereas reverse osmosis can remove even smaller particles like viruses. That's right, you got it. That's wild to me. Once the water is checked for things like salinity, it moves on to the final step. Ultraviolet light and also hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so you're using UV light That's right. to filter the water. How does that even work? Right, right. So the UV light actually reacts first with the hydrogen peroxide to make hydroxyl radicals, which are really powerful and they break almost any chemical bond that they bang into, essentially. So anything dissolved in the water, like trace impurities, dissolved chemicals, or in the case of something biological, like a cell membrane or DNA, it'll break that up as well, which we really don't expect to be present much at this point at all. Okay. So it's like an extra polishing step. On this scale model, Megan shows me how each of these reactors work. Water flows in through three vessels, each with 144 UV lamps. Overall, the facility has over 5,000 lamps. Your electricity bill must be crazy. Advanced purification to recycle water actually takes less energy than other options like importing water. While the water from this facility is destined to replenish the groundwater supply, it's still safe, clean, and refreshing, straight from the tap. Megan, thank you so much for a lovely day. You're welcome. I appreciate you teaching me about how water is treated at this mm -hmm. facility. Here's to another day of water sustainability. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Okay, I'm getting hints of ultrafiltration. Yeah, 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 I'm getting notes of um, reverse osmosis and a bouquet of ultraviolet on the finish. That's exactly what we were going for. So. Is that right? Thank you. <laughs>
If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.